two important questions for today. Are you all in? Because if you're not all in, there's no way you can get your people in. Am I right? The more we do this, the more we figured out that what your mama taught you when you were five years old, best business advice you ever got. You can't give what you don't have. So the first question is the most important one. Then figure out how to get your people on. Because here's the deal. You guys are the owners of the budget. You are the leaders here, no question about it. The way you walk in a room, you, you establish that culture. You own it. And you own it 24-7. It's not just your work thing. It's who are you everywhere you go. Because people can tell the difference if you're faking it. Workplace expert Chester Elton is the author of six New York Times best-selling books that have been translated into 30 languages and have sold more than a million copies worldwide. He appears frequently on NBC's Today Show, 60 Minutes, and CNN. In his high-energy presentations, Elton unveils the findings of a study of 300,000 people from high-performance cultures, demonstrating what the world's best managers do differently. No matter where Chester Elton appears, his audiences want more. We did some work with um, DHL in Bonn, Germany, and they nicknamed us the Deacons of Donkushen, which was clever. The Ministers of Motivation, the High Priests of Praise. But in Canada, they dubbed me the Apostle of Appreciation. That's a great title, the Apostle. So I'm here not to just give you the numbers in the case studies. Oh, no. I am here to preach and teach the power of the care. Can I get an amen? Can you put your hands in the air? Let it sway like it is no care. Give me a hallelujah. So what are some of the words he used to describe his job? Free. I feel free. Great one. I can be who I am. I can be who I am. He loves his job. That's the dishwasher at that restaurant. What do you think the rest of the house looks like? Do you think they're rocking? Absolutely. See, I want you to ask yourself the question, who's your dishwasher and do they get it? Because culture just doesn't live in those wind beliefs and those posters. It lives in every one of your people that picks up the phone, interacts with the customer, or does something for another department. See what I'm saying? And if the dishwasher gets it, everybody gets it. We did some really cool work with Saks Fifth Avenue. How many have been to Saks? Yeah, kind of cool. Um, different than Walmart, would you agree? Yeah, you do a lot more looking at Saks, a lot more buying at Walmart, right? Yeah. This is, this is their mission statement. To inspire, sound familiar? To inspire customer confidence and style with every Saks shopping experience. So, we're doing some work with Saks. I go, look, I gotta have the Saks Fifth Avenue experience. So they introduced me to Donald Waiters. He's my fashion consultant. And I'm up there and I, and I actually try on the, actually this suit. <laughs> and I'm, I'm on the box and I said to Donald, I said, man, Donald, this is, this is a nice suit. And he goes, yeah. Now here comes the inspiration. He says, it is a nice suit. But never forget, Mr. Elton, it's the man that makes the suit, not the suit that makes the man. <laughs> and I said, Donald, you are so right. <laughs> Was I inspired? Absolutely. I couldn't buy that suit fast enough. In a lot of organizations I talk to, you know, Chester, I get the thank you part. But if I say it too much, it becomes rote, it becomes trite, it, does, it loses its meaning. Can you hear a thank you too much? Just by a show of hands, just how many of you consider yourselves right now madly in love? Okay, happily married. Let's start there. Okay. <laughs> happily married, madly in love. Okay, big, you know, he's got his hand way up high. You, sir, right here in the blue. Come on up on stage. So you are madly in love. Yes. And happily married. Yes. Same woman. Yes. Bonus. So your wife's name is? Brenda. Brenda, how long have you been married? 15 years. 15 years. Give it up. 15 years. <laughs> So, uh, let me ask you something. How often do you tell Brenda you love her? 50 times a day. <laughs> no, serious. All no, the time. I, yeah, so am I. Come on, tell the truth. All the time. <laughs> That's too much. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously. I do this for a living, pal. <laughs> what if you just did something like, I don't know, like an annual banquet? You see what I'm saying? Just like once a year load up. Forget Valentine's. Forget the anniversary birthday. It's too complicated. Once a year load up. Wouldn't it be better? No. No. <laughs> You think she'd go for it? Oh. <laughs> See, we get this in our personal lives, right? I love you in our personal lives translates to thank you in the workplace. It's really that simple. Now, let's get the, it's thank you in the workplace. It's I love you in your personal life. <laughs> Don't get that mixed up. Find out why the New York Times calls him refreshing and creative and why organizations worldwide say he's an absolute necessity 
providing the very real research-based steps to get your people engaged, enabled, and energized. He's Chester Elton and is considered by many the world authority on corporate culture and leadership. I was speaking to a conference in Silicon Valley not too long ago, and the uh, people development person was there from uh, Pixar. How many have been to a Pixar film? Raise your hand. How many got a little kid watches that one Pixar film over and over and over again, right? So the lead, people development leader was there, and I said to her, how do you put out these phenomenal movies every year? Every year, they just raise the bar, raise the bar, raise the bar. She said, you know, we do a kind of a couple of things, but one thing we do is everybody at Pixar has the same title, and the title is filmmaker. Isn't that cool? So whether you're the receptionist, the night watchman, the janitor, or actually on the set, your title is filmmaker. Now, if you're a filmmaker, what do you get at the end of the film? You get a credit. That's right. Watch your next Pixar film. You know, at the very end, every employee gets a credit at the end of the film. They do another cute thing. Talk about, you know, emotional engagement. If you have a baby born during the filming of the movie, your baby gets a credit at the end of the film. Everybody. I know, right? Here's what's funny. She said it gets a little dangerous. We had three induced labors to hit the deadline. So I was getting on. <laughs> he's a preemie, but he's a filmmaker. <laughs> Carlos Aguilera. He's a manager for Avis Budget in Dallas. Now, Carlos manages 500 people in Dallas. And here's what he does. He doesn't go up and say, hey, can I talk to you? He puts 10 pennies in his left pocket every day. And with those 10 pennies, he sets a goal to have 10 positive interactions every day with his people. And every time it happens, he takes a penny, puts it in his other pocket. He says, if I get to lunch and I've got nine pennies in my left pocket, I haven't been doing my job. Now, what are his results? Number one in the world for customer retention, customer satisfaction, profit, and has the highest employee engagement and the lowest employee turnover. Because they know that Carlos cares about them. I was working with a group and they said, uh, what's balance? He said, it's one to one. Manager says one to one. For every compliment, there's a criticism. That's balance. I said, really? I want you to do me a favor. I want you to try that at home. <laughs> you know, your wife comes out. She's all dressed up. <laughs> nice night out. Honey, how do I look in this dress? Great color makes you look fat. <laughs> That's balance. <laughs> That's what they talk about at the divorce proceedings. <laughs> one to one is negative. Two to one is negative. Three to one is neutral. Four to one is positive. Five to one is ideal. In fact, Harvard School of Business says 5.6. Are you careful with your ratio when your people see you coming? Are they excited to see you or do they cringe? How many of you think you can get too much recognition at work? Too much. How many not enough? You can never get enough. How many of you have actually ever gone home to your spouse and said, you know what? I got way too much recognition at work today. I'm telling you. They came back like the fifth or sixth time. I said, stop. Is there potential locked within your culture? Chester Elton will change the way you lead and inspire your people. What I love about what we do is that we make work more rewarding. You know, and when you love what you do and you love who you do it with, you just do it better. When you feel appreciated and engaged, you accelerate business results. So give us a call. We'll come in, we'll have some fun, and I promise you, we'll make a difference.